Guy Moore joins me now, Director of Rugby and Chair of the Youth at Berwick. Take us through the setup you have here at Berwick. At Berwick, here we run children's teams from P3 up through to under 18. Currently, the S1s through under 18s are playing in the East Conference section, um, which is basically the East Lothian schools and one or two of the Edinburgh schools. And the, the P groups play friendlies and tournaments in the borders and up in East Lothian. Um, so at the minute, we're trying to encourage growth of home players um, and hanging on to players and player retention obviously is a big thing at the minute in Scottish rugby. So we feel as a club that encouraging youngsters to come through the system is the best way to get players for the future. Do the schools around here actually play rugby or is it soccer they play? There's a lot of football played in Berwick itself, um, an ideal uh, Dougie Hall, uh, spends a lot of time in the local schools, uh, primary schools and senior schools in the area. He has a, quite an area to cover from uh, Glendale, which is in Woola, which is uh, 16 miles south of Berwick, up into, into Berwick itself and the primary schools from Ford right across to Lawick. Um, he visits them quite often once or twice a week through the winter season. So the recruitment is positive then, to say the least? It, we attempt to be positive. He gets a lot of good feedback from the schools when he's there and a lot of the young, youngsters come along and have a try and have a go at it. And we're a friendly club and we try to make it a friendly, encouraging game. It's about playing the sport, not winning, losing. That's not important. It's just about having fun. And what about the girls' setup too? Because they, they, they do play as well, don't they? They do, yes. Um, that's got stronger over the last couple of seasons. Again, that's probably a lot to do with Dougie and his team there. I think they're running currently teams in the 13 and 15 group and the 17 group. They are slightly short of numbers, but the tournaments they attend, they tend to get uh, players from other clubs and combine together so they can get a team together to play full matches. Now, this is going to be a difficult question. Because of what's been talked about recently in rugby with concussion, is it easier to drag the boys in or the girls when you consider what their parents want them to do? That's a good question. I, I think that when you speak to Dougie about it, the girls are very enthusiastic at the schools um, and a lot of them love the, the non-contact part of the game. Something we've talked about in the club about running touch-only teams and so it's to encourage a type of rugby to be played. Concussion-wise, especially with the boys, they seem to want to tackle, getting the tackle height right, protecting the children, trying to prevent the problems before they happen, I think is the biggest thing you can do. I am concerned that the media sort of coverage of concussion in the sport is very, very negative. And I feel as a rugby as a sport, we've tried a lot to clean it up and get the tackle heights lower and prevent the, the problems before they occur. I suppose in the way the media can just bang on about a subject for a day or two, then they can walk away from it and whatever damage is done, is done. Is that what you're saying really? Yeah, pretty much, yes, I agree with that, that statement. It's, um, yeah, it's easy to, to, cr to create a problem, it's a lot harder to solve it once it's out there. Now for mums and dads and parents listening, they want their kids to get involved. What's the best way to contact you guys? Well, the, the club has its own uh, website and Facebook page, so you can contact through that. Um, or come along on a Wednesday night, the, the youth section, which is the under-13s up through under-16s, they train on a Wednesday night, 6.30 to 8 here at Scramerston. And the juniors below that, the P section, P3 through P7, train on a Sunday morning uh, from 10.30 here at Scramerston as well. So. Feel free to come along and just uh, enjoy some rugby. They don't only just enjoy it, but there's a bit of discipline involved as well, isn't there? When they go back home. Uh, well, you'd hope so, yeah. So there's, um, you'd, you'd like to think that they come here and uh, they, they, they learn to be respectful, they learn the sport, um, and uh, yeah, win, lose, draw, whatever. You know, you enjoy the game and you go home with a smile on your face.